They are not here right now. They will be coming back to the East Coast and the Northeast by about the middle of May. These are hummingbird feeders. And if you remember the original hummingbird feeders, they were black, uh, pardon, they were uh, yellow and red plastic. And, and they kind of got moldy and icky and ugh. I adore hummingbirds. I just think that they are the coolest creatures to see something that small that can fly to me is just thrilling. You probably know Roxanne De Palma. She's gonna join me. By the way, she lives out in California. So it is really early out there on the West Coast. She'll join me in a few seconds. She loves hummingbirds as well, but she didn't wanna do a plastic piece. So she did beautiful artisan glass. Look at that, that's like diamond cut blue crystal or bright red. Those are the only two colors we've got. Uh, we're out of the red multi, we're out of the blue multi. These are substantial. You put them out, they look gorgeous, but they will draw hummingbirds to your property. Got to see if Roxanne's awake. Roxanne, what, what time was that wake up call for you this morning? 3.45 this morning. <laughs> are we still friends? <laughs> yeah, we are. Well, now, am I the one that made you the hummingbird freak? Yeah. Because I think I think I am. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So, so I'm going to tell you my hummingbird story. So my sweet little mommy, who's up in heaven, would sit in this backyard and literally be mesmerized over the hummingbird. And Dan, they were these plastic icky feeders I had and these glass ones. And guys, these, these feeders here, really bad for a hummingbird because they break their beak on them. So of course, mama couldn't show up ugly. So we went to the drawing board and we have over 250,000 glass hummingbird feeders sold on QVC. And we made it a better mouth, a better feeder. There you go. Not a better mouth, but a better feeder. So these are glass. It is not plastic. So they, they can get clean because the inside will get moldy from the mm -hmm. nectar, the sugar water. Okay. Then I went a step further. And when we made these, we made the opening nice and big so you can actually get in there and clean it. And then let's talk about the feeder portion here. I love hibiscus this is one of my pictures right here with the hummingbird so i put hibiscus flowers right here and the red is what is going to draw the hummingbird to the feeder and then dan we put a place for them to rest because a hummingbird flaps their wings 80 times a second yeah that's over four thousand times a minute and and last but not least guys when you buy a feeder whether it's mine or somebody else's don't ever buy a metal bottom yep. because in places like Palm Springs and down here, we were 73 degrees here yesterday. Yeah. The feeder bottom gets hot and it does harm the bird. So, and it comes with a hook. Okay. So we have this beautiful blue glass design. Dan, I have six of these in my backyard. I have two in my front yard because they are so territorial. So get the two of them together. This price, first of all, I, I don't even know how you got to this price. And um, it, they're beautiful together. So get a few of these. And then the red one that you're going to see in just a minute. There it is. It looks kind of like a fire hydrant to me. Again, it's glass. These are all blown glass. And look at that baby just going away. Eating that necker. You know, I am the Italian mama. And we do love to feed Everybody, Dan. <laughs> well, here's the, the interesting thing. I did not think we had hummingbirds on our property at all. We had been putting out bird feeders for years. And I've known Roxanne. Oh, my gosh, Roxanne. We've known each other over 30. Yeah, I was going to say well over 25 years. Yeah, 33 so, years I've been on QVC. The, I bought my first hummingbird feeder from Roxanne, put it out, and was amazed that within a span of a few weeks, we had hummingbirds. Uh, mm -hmm. When I first saw them, I thought they were bumblebees because they were <laughs> baby hummingbirds. Baby. They're, they're the mm -hmm. only bird that can fly backwards. They're like helicopters. So they're like a helicopter. Now I, I have several feeders out as well. Now it's a little early out here on the Northeast, but these birds are right now still in middle Mexico. They migrate. Right. 2,000 plus miles to get from where they are 
to where they come from my backyard. Uh, and there's actual websites where you can track hummingbird migration. It's the coolest thing, and they're very accurate. Uh, last year that they said, where I live, Westchester, Pennsylvania area, that they would be in my backyard on April 15th. And I remember that because it's, or pardon me, May 15th. And I remember May that 15th. day, I noticed my first hummingbird on May 15th. So we're able it's to track crazy. it. It is. The, they, but down in the lower states, Sam, like, like California, Arizona, You've got them all year. Texas, we have them all year. Yep. I mean, out in the desert, we, Bob and I were out there a couple of weeks ago. 22 hummingbirds were in my backyard. That's so cool. I thought Sandra Bennett was just going to go cuckoo crazy. But yeah, watch that migration thing. They'll fly up to 500 miles a day. Yeah. So when they get there, they want that nectar. Okay, that, that's just one portion of my backyard right here. And and again, Dan, do not make the red stuff. Do not yep. buy the red stuff. Don't put food coloring in because it does harm the hummingbirds. Every single feeder comes with my recipe. It's a cup of white sugar. Yep. No brown sugar, no Four organic nine. sugar. White sugar, four cups of water, stir, 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 five minutes in the microwave. Put in, and oh, FYI, these will hold up to four cups of nectar yep. opposed to these these little guys here dan again get a two or three or four of these they make fabulous gifts mother's day father's day is around the corner yeah valentine's like said, day look at the red one for valentine's, valentine's day oh and then to see oh, hummingbirds in your backyard all summer long that's look that's a Google. great gift that clearance sale price we're down to the last two you saw in the video some other designs that Roxanne had done, they're gone, they're sold out, never to come back. These are artisan glass hummingbird feeders for $26 and a penny. Roxanne, I gotta say goodbye to you. Thanks for getting up so early, appreciate you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll see you at, uh, what, nine o'clock or something, 12 o'clock with Mary Beth today. It's a big deal, we've got some good purpose.